So this is a video about how to create a good thesis or claim statement. Uh, I am assuming you know the difference between a dependent clause and an independent clause because when you're creating a good thesis statement, you really want to start with a dependent clause that will um, set up the parameters of the support that you're going to use for your claim. So I've highlighted the dependent clause here in red. And now in blue is the independent clause, which is the point you're actually trying to make about the text at hand. So this independent clause also is going to work as your conclusion for your entire essay. It'll bring us to that point, at least. The other thing to keep in mind is that only one of the clauses in your thesis should be about the text under analysis, the texts under analysis, the specific genre under analysis. The other clause really needs to be about the big picture. So in this example, uh, I had asked my students to write about uh, whether dystopian novels are a realistic or useful way of looking at our world. So one clause, the first clause, is about dystopian novels and how they portray government surveillance. The second clause, the independent clause, is more about our world and the big picture. It's hard to get your head around this, I think, for a lot of students, um, but once you understand this, it will make writing an essay much easier, planning an essay, because all of the planning comes from this thesis statement or claim that you're establishing. Clauses are about the text that you're writing about. You basically are setting yourself up to write a summary or a book report and there's not going to be any analysis. You need to be able to get out of the world of the immediate text and into what the author is actually trying to communicate or what you think the author is trying to communicate, the way you interpret what the author is trying to communicate. That's our point of analysis. And remember that whatever is in the dependent clause, which I have, again, in red here, it's the first clause, that's going to be the support, what you're researching, what you're pulling out of the text. It really gives you the parameters for like the field of play for your essay, for your argument. So whatever you put in there is where you're going to get your support. So if the first clause is about the text, you're getting your support from the text. If the first clause is about kind of our world in general, and then the second clause is about the text, then most of your support is going to come from uh, your ideas about our world in general. So you need to be very careful about that. Here's another example of uh, a thesis statement we could use for this assignment. And it, notice how this one reverses um, where the texts are mentioned and the um, you know world at large is mentioned. This one puts the world at large in the dependent clause, which is although we live in a heavily surveilled society, and then the texts are in the independent clause. Uh, 1984 and The Handmaid's Tale present scenarios that are impossible given our society's insistence on civil liberties. So in this case, we're going to get most of our information in the essay about our heavily surveilled society here in the United States in 2021. Um, whereas the conclusion is going to be more about 1984 and The Handmaid's Tale and why our society is not like the, the societies presented in those novels. So hopefully this gives you some ideas about how to create thesis or claim statements that are arguable and supportable and shows you a way in which you can use your thesis statements to help you organize your essay overall. Thank you for watching, and I hope learning has occurred.